वेलकम गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 77 ऑफ नेट दिसंबर 2018 एंड इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीनियर एलजेब्रा सो लेट अस रीड इट डिफाइन अ रियल वैल्यूड फंक्शन बी ऑन आर स्क्वायर टू आर स्क्वायर ओके आर स्क्वायर क्रॉस आर स्क्वायर एज फॉलोज सो दे आर टेकिंग टू पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम आर स्क्वायर एंड देन बी द फंक्शन बी इज डिफाइंड इन दिस वे Now what they are saying that if v not is is a fixed point one comma zero and let w is equal to this thing, okay? W is defined like this way. So they are asking that whether w is a subspace or not. So they are asking about w. So the first aim for the question should be to find w, okay? So now what I will do? I will firstly write what is b. So b is a function. that is from r square to r square okay like this thing and it is defined by b of u comma w is equal to x1 y1 minus x1 y2 minus x2 y1 plus 4 x2 y2 okay so this is w uh, this is your b function now they are fixing v not okay and uh, they they are defining w like this so first of all what i will do i will calculate b of v not that is 1 comma 0 so this thing is v not so you consider it to be x1 x2 and what is your v just take v as a uh, you can say general point from r square okay so for a the general point from the r square just write it as x comma y okay so this x comma y is actually y1 y2 okay so this is your b now from the definition of the b what this thing will be this thing will be x and this thing will be y now this thing will be 0 and this thing will be 0 so you got this thing that b of 1 comma 0 is equal to x comma y now what they are doing they are defining w to be like this that it will contain all those x comma y belonging to r square such that b of v not comma v is equal to 0 that means what they are doing they are saying that you have to choose all those points such that x comma y not x comma y sorry b of v not v and what is b of v not v we have calculated b of v not v so it will be x minus y is equal to 0 okay so this is nothing else this is the line okay line y is equal to x so this is your subspace w not subspace we have to prove that it it's a subspace so firstly first your option one is saying that it is not a subspace of r square okay so we have to check whether this w will be a subspace or not so for that matter what we will do we will take two point inside it so u comma v belonging to w this will imply u will be type of x1 y1 and v will be type of x2 y2 and they these these two points satisfy this thing okay now what you have to do you have to calculate alpha u plus v so alpha is a is a element from the field now what you see that if you multiply it with alpha that would you then what you get it will be x2 comma y2 so this thing will be alpha x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 okay now you have to check whether alpha uh, this will be okay this is correct now what what you have to do you have to check whether this minus this is zero or not okay so this thing will be alpha here also so i will write it properly it will be alpha x1 plus uh alpha x1 plus x2 comma alpha y1 plus y2 okay this is the thing now this thing will belongs to w if this coordinate minus this coordinate is zero okay so let's just check this so alpha x1 plus x2 minus alpha y1 plus y2 is can be written as x1 minus y1 plus x2 minus y2 okay so you see this thing this thing belongs to w okay this thing belongs to w means x1 minus y1 is 0 this thing belongs to w means x2 minus y2 is 0 so your whole thing is 0 so you see 
this thing is zero therefore alpha u plus v belongs to w so what you can say from here by the definition of subspaces okay so you can say that w is a subspace of r square so first one is incorrect because it is saying that it is not a subspace of r square now the second one saying that w is actually the y-axis okay so the second one is saying that w is the y-axis but it's not it's a line which pass uh, which passes from the origin this is the line y is equal to x so it's not a y-axis okay y-axis is this line but your subspace is like this so it's not a y-axis now third one is saying that this thing equal to zero zero which is also incorrect okay so these options are incorrect now fourth one is saying that it is a line passing through 0 0 and 1 1 okay now since 0 0 satisfies x minus y is equal to 0 okay so since what you see is 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 okay so this point lies here and 1 1 point lies here so this is a line that passes through 0 0 and 1 1 so fourth one is correct so your correct answer will be false so this is a very easy question you don't don't need much linear algebra here okay you can solve it in without knowing the linear algebra just you need you need to know is the definition of subspaces here okay so thank you guys